One day we are talking of contraband sugar, which is harmful to human health. We are told by cabs that the levels of lead and copper are harmful, are unacceptable and harmful to human health. Nobody is telling us where that sugar has gone. The elected leaders are not telling us or asking on our behalf where the sugar has gone. I attempted to ask on Twitter, I have not been answered. So we are now asking as Kenyans loudly, where is the contraband sugar that is contaminated? Has it been withdrawn from the market? Or is the government waiting for us to be poisoned by this sugar, which is being sold as it was or is being repackaged? And I said cabras was mentioned, and every supermarket in Nairobi has cabras. Who is going to tell us whether this is part of the sugar that was contaminated? Personally, I've made a decision to boycott sugar until the air is cleared. And by not clearing the air, they are going to kill the local sugar industry. Because they told us the contaminated sugar was repackaged as local sugar. It means we cannot trust any brand. Can the government come out clearly, take decisive action on the contaminated sugar, and shield our local brands from being contaminated by those repackaging contraband sugar using the local names. The ministers owe us an explanation. It is not enough for CS Matiang and CS Adan to have the joint statement they had. CS Adan disputed that there was mercury and Kebs supported that there was no mercury but there was lead and copper which are also harmful to human health. How can their statement only amount to clearing the air on mercury? They must go further, and I'm also challenging my sister, the, min the CS for Health, Cecilia Karioki. These are matters of health. Come out and tell us, together with your colleagues, whether the sugar in the Kenyan market is fit for human consumption, or people should boycott it. I am estimating that the contraband sugar they talked about a sugar that can be sold in our markets for more than a year because they brought more than we consume in one year.